Brandon, it's great to see you. Thank you very much, Robert. It's great to see yourself too. It's Brandon, welcome to... down to Fivey Castle. It's good to be here. Brandon, I thought we'd just have a wee chat for a moment. Um, obviously having you down here today, great to see you. You're looking fantastically well. You're a busy lad in music today all over the country. You're doing so fantastically well for your age, and we're also very proud of you. Brandon, how did you get started in music? I first got started in music when I was 10 years old. I was taught for the first month or so by my granddad, Donald McPhee. I remember sitting on his stool in the back room, my feet not able to touch the ground. <laughs> I remember him showing me my very first tune, The Dark Island, mm -hmm. which is actually one of my favourites. Mm -hmm. I carried on with then with my uncle, Daniel McPhee. Yeah. I took weekly accordion lessons with him for about two years. All playing by ear, and now eight years later, here I'm sitting. <laughs> Fantastic. Obviously, when you were growing up with your grandfather and your uncle and things, you must have been listening to so many other people. Who, who, who are your real idols when it comes to your accordion music, Brandon? My main accordion music idols would have to be Jimmy Shand and Will Starr. Right. Mostly for their distinctive style. They were so different from each other. They were so, in my mind, they were just amazing and I just always wanted to be like that. So I've worked on it all these years and hopefully my music is I think both of those wonderful gentlemen would be so proud of you because you're continuing 
playing the button box as well, which which is not a common sight as much as the, the piano accordion. Have you always played the button box? I have always played the button box, Robert. I've always loved the sound as much as I do like piano accordions and five rows, there's so many different kinds. The distinction in the notes and the sound of the button box just always felt right for me and that's what I stuck to and loved every minute. Brandon, congratulations last year on winning the All Scotland Accordion Champion. You were the first youngster to win it playing the button key box for how many years? It was 27 years. 27 years since somebody playing the button key accordion won that. That's an amazing feat in itself but what I love to see is when you're playing because you've got a wonderful movement because of the button keys you've got the most amazing movement in your fingers which is amazing is that a style that you've developed yourself brandon because obviously you put a huge amount of feeling into your playing but when you're playing at a speed it's it's amazing how your your fingers move on those button keys to get the sound of brandon mcphee it was a real honor to be have my name on on the shield it was actually the jimmy shan shield that i got for that competition and we mentioned the last button key player is actually one of my favourites who won that 27 years ago, which was Willie Maguire. Oh yes. So there's there's so many amazing names on that shield and I'm just honoured to be part of it. But I, I think the distinction in my, my sound has been worked over all these years with practice and determination and a lot of dedication. And I, I just loved every moment of it. And... <laughs> How much do you practice these days, Brandon? Well, at the start, it was only for about a few hours. 
and then it progressed into high school, which it worked out by the end of high school I was doing about six hours a day. Okay. So that, I can't add up all the hours I've done over the years. So. <laughs> As they say, practice makes perfect. You've got a busy life today in music, Brandon. You're travelling all over the country. Um, tell us how you feel about that, because you've had a career, you know, you're know, you winning championships, you're recording, and you've got great, you're filling theatres all, the, all over the country. How does that feel for a, a lad so young? I'm just really glad that everyone is enjoying my music. That's the main thing from when I started off, that everyone enjoys my music and they maybe they're happy to hear it and that's that's the main thing for me that they enjoy it. Yeah. I always get a sense when I see you performing that you're adoring every minute. Uh, I, I, I think your performances are so wonderful, Brandon, but I think they come from the heart as well. How, how do you feel when you go out there onto a huge stage full of people, fans and all the rest of it? How do you how do you feel? It really does come from the heart. I put everything I have into it. I, I'm on cloud nine the whole time. An example would be Eden Court Theatre earlier on this year. And I, I was just on cloud nine the whole yeah, time. Yeah. Just... You sold Eden Court out, <laughs> which, which is fantastic. Um, again, that must have been such a great sense of satisfaction for you. I, I was really pleased and mm -hmm. I had so many comments afterwards. I went out to the door and shaked hands with everyone and thanked them for coming. Yeah. And there were just so many great comments and I was just so pleased everyone enjoyed it. Yeah, congratulations on filling Eden oh, Court, that, uh, which is great. Tell us about your recordings. Tell us how many you've made up to date. I made my first recording when I was 11 years old. I named that one A Star Is Born. I went on to do another one when I was 12, which I named Born To Play. Mm -hmm. Another one was when I was 14, which mm -hmm. was a DVD and CD, yes. which was called The Flying Scots. Right. Then another two years later was another live recording, which was Live and Relaxed. Okay. And it was a, a DVD and CD. Yes. Last year, I made my debut in country music, which yes. was my country CD, and I named that one The Countryside. Okay. <laughs> Country music is a great part of your life as well. Where did that element come from? You obviously started playing Scottish. When, when did you develop the passion for the country music? It was about a few years ago I started singing and also playing the acoustic guitar. Mm -hmm. My favourites has to be Johnny Cash, Billy Ray Cyrus, yeah. Willie Nelson. Uh -huh. As the same as Jimmy Shan, the Will Star, they all have such a distinctive style. Mm -hmm. 
different from everybody else, mm -hmm. and to me, that's what I take to straight away. Yeah. I just love that about love that about that. So, a Brandon McPhee performance today, half Scottish, half country. Well, that's 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 the plan. What we've been doing. Okay. As we talked with Ian Court there earlier. Yeah. It, went, it went really well with the Scottish and country. Brandon, go back to your Scottish for a moment. Which which your favourite Scottish pieces? My favourite Scottish pieces would have to be some from one of my favourite accordionists, Freeland Barber. Mm -hmm. A particular set of mine, which is Bob Bridgeford's March, the 46th Seconder and the Borthwick Men. Great. I love the style of those tunes, uh -huh. I love the keys, uh -huh. and I think Freeland has just got them. It feels like it was made for me, if that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'll bet Freeland Barber is very proud that you're yeah. playing those tunes. <laughs> I, I'm just really pleased to play them. And Fre Freeland's a great guy as well. I've met Freeland a number of times and just a guy I have a lot of respect yeah, for. Yeah, he's a lovely guy. And, and what about the country ones? You must have so many favourite country pieces because you've got so many heroes in country music as well. What's your favourite country ones? There, there's a lot, Robert, but if I had to take it down to one, it would be Achey Breaky Heart, I think. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a great song, yeah. yeah, yeah. I love that song. There's yeah. something about that, again, so different. Is it, is it because it's a crowd pooler, Brandon? Because the, the, the Achey Breaky Heart, everybody knows Achey Breaky Heart and things. Do you feel the audience with you all the time when you're singing something so popular? Well, it, it goes down well, and the people enjoy it, and you see people singing along, and it's it's just it's a great feeling to have that the music does that for people. So. Great. Just don't think you'd understand And if you tell my heart My achy, breaky heart He might blow up and kill this man I just don't think he'd understand And if you tell my heart My achy breaky heart He might blow up and kill this man Brandon, when you're 
preparing for a big Brandon McPhee show like Eden Court. And I know you've got a big tour planned around Scotland coming up uh, very soon, uh, the latter part of this summer. Tell us about the preparation for the Brandon McPhee show. A lot of preparation and practice goes into this, Robert. I like to have everything just perfect. I like to have everything rehearsed and just so you know what you're doing and you feel at ease the whole time. I can't count how many hours of rehearsals and practice that goes into those shows and hopefully it comes across on the stage. I can assure you it comes across very, very well, Brandon. We're always proud of you when it comes to your shows because it's a very polished performance. Brandon, tell us about your backing group, Scottish and country. On the Scottish part, it starts off with keyboard and bass, which is Manson Grant. On drums, Robert Cameron. Mm -hmm. We also have a second accordion player, mm -hmm. Alistair MacDonald. Mm -hmm. On the countryside, there is Keith McLeod on harmony vocals and lead guitar. On drums, Robert Cameron, Manson Grant on keyboard and bass. Pedal steel guitar, Davy Holland. And last but not least, Crawford Bell on acoustic guitar and harmony vocals. Wow, that sounds, what a great lineup. Brandon, do you do a lot of the arrangements with the boys? Do you do most of it? How, how does that work? Well, I, I pick the material and everything. Mm -hmm. And luckily having so many talented musicians, everything just falls in, okay. in, into play. And I'm really honoured to be a part of such talented musicians. It's an honour to be there with them. Do you all get great fun on the stage? It, it's, it's great fun, it is really it? is. It's just so enjoyable. And yeah, that's I'm wonderful. Just... my home. I was young and I wanted the white world to roam. But now I am older and wiser, you see. That lovely dark island is come. Oh, I've wandered away 
Tell us a wee bit about your tour that's coming up. Where all where are all you going? We start off in Aberdeen, which is the beach ballroom, on the 12th of September. We also have Elgin Town Hall, mm -hmm. which is the 26th of September. Right. And we also have Perth Concert Hall, mm -hmm. November 13th. We have Eden Court again for February the 20th. Mm -hmm. Apart and everything else in between, mm -hmm. so that's we're working towards different projects. Fantastic! And different that's, 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 an, that's an nice array of lovely theatres across Scotland and things, and I'm sure you'll be so well received. Brandon, for a lad that's so young, uh, how, how old are you at the moment? Yeah, I'm 18. You're at the still moment. 18. That's great. Tell us, what's your proudest moment to date in your career? My proudest moment and probably most favourite was when I won the All Scotland Senior Accordion Championships. Yes. I started playing at 10 years old and I really thought I would, that was a competition I thought I would never take back to home to Caithness. Right. I took the Jimmy Shan shield back and I just, I can't explain that feeling yeah. when Ian Muir and Ian Cathcart mm -hmm. called out my name for first place. It Aye. was just, it, it meant so much. Did it, me. yes. It I see you putting your so hand on your heart there, <laughs> which is lovely to see. You're also a lad that keeps that lovely Caithness accent, which I love to hear. Language is so important. And, you know, you're, you're such a natural lad as well. You obviously love to use your Caithness accent. I, I really love my home and um, the county of Caithness. It's, yeah. it's a big part of my life and yes. always, always will be. That's great to hear, Brandon. Wonderful. So, Brandon, tell us, you've got another recording coming out this year, is that right? I do, yes. Mm -hmm. This one is called Brandon McPhee, Scottish Champion. Mm -hmm. I took the material in this one, a mixture of some different tempos and different styles of tunes, okay. including some Freedom Barber tunes, which I mentioned earlier, and different favourites of mine. Mm -hmm. And hopefully the material on that will satisfy the listener. So that's the main thing, as long as they enjoy that. So. Great. And Brandon, I would presume still 18, so many years ahead of you and things. Music's your life? It really is. It's, it's my life and always will be. Yeah, that's so fantastic to hear. Brandon, I'd like to wish you all the best on behalf of everybody who's watching this. And, and I know you've got a lot of fans up and down and throughout the country. And I would just wish you all the very, very best for the future. Keep her going. Stick in. Thank you very much, Robert. Thank you for taking time to do this interview. It means a lot. Great, Great to see you. Great to see you, Brandon.